Before stepping into her mushroom house, Metrin Akini always disinfects her feet and hands. Metrin grows oyster mushrooms for sale in Eldoret Town, Western Kenya. The crop easily gets attacked by pests and diseases, so its environment must be kept clean at all times. The entrepreneur decided to invest 250 US dollars in the project last year and says so far she's happy with the results. I realized that uh, it's a business that you can start with very little capital and uh, the returns are not bad. Like you can, uh, we use the wheat straws, the maize straws. These are leftovers from after the farmers have harvested. You just go and collect from the farm. You come and prepare them. And then it's only the spawn that you buy. So I realized that it's a very cheap venture. Metrin's mushrooms grow in a mixture of substrate or sterilized organic farm waste and spawn, the equivalent of a mushroom seed. In order for the fungi to grow well, the mixture has to be kept moist throughout in a dark room with favorable temperatures. Mushrooms take up little space and are usually ready for harvest about six weeks after planting. They then fruit repeatedly for about three more weeks. A kilo of Metrin's mushrooms sell for about eight US dollars. When it is good, you get around three kilos. But when the production goes down, you get around one kilo, one and a half, two kilos. It all depends with the humidity in the house. When it's very cold, you get a lot of mushrooms. You take one minute, then. At the nearby Moi University Chef Koilel campus, students are learning how to prepare a crop of mushroom. The institution recently started a research project to develop hybrid mushroom spawn for sale. It's hoped that this will attract small-scale farmers who can now access spawn easily, get information and also help improve their yield. Naboth Ahoya is a senior technologist at the campus. It has taken too long for the farmers to take this new technology because there has been no source of seed. Well, some farmers would like to produce the mushroom, then they will ask you, where will I get the seed from? Other universities should now also think of producing the spawn especially, and educating the farmers, because when we compare now to Koinel campus, if we shall be doing the mushroom production, we shall do the same like Dar es Salaam University, that produces spawn and supplies the farmers. And now quite a number of farmers in that area are producing mushrooms locally. The country's mushroom sector is yet to grow. Kenya produces about 100 tons of mushrooms annually, yet it has potential for over 100,000 tons. To meet the difference, some is imported from China. Due to low production, mushrooms are expensive compared to other vegetables in the market. Most farmers supply hotels and individuals with fresh and dried ones. Some also land in supermarkets like this one. 50 grams of dried mushrooms sell for about $2 here. I like eating mushrooms because they are healthy. They work for me just fine. I prefer eating mushrooms instead of beef because they don't have fat and contain protein. The price is affordable and they are easy to cook. The farmers will have to increase their production, even though it is not easy to grow them. There's such high demand for mushrooms here, and it's a lucrative market. Metrin is done harvesting mushrooms today, and her mother is helping her pack them before making deliveries. The family has now included mushrooms in their diet. Mushrooms are highly nutritious and are known to have medicinal value too. In a good month, Metrin makes about $120, which helps her pay the bills. I'd like to encourage her to work very hard, because she has also seen the benefits of this business. It is profitable and gives us good results, so I think she should work harder and expand the business. Later on, Jack Mushai, the chairman of the North Rift Mushroom Growers Association, drops by to share new ideas on making substrates. He often visits farmers here to make sure they are on the right track 
and also helps them find market for their produce. Mushroom is very easy. Mushroom can be done by virtually anybody who is willing to spend that extra little time and follow those little silly things about mushroom. Uh, they are very easy to follow. Okay, they look complicated because they sound scientific, but really, really speaking, anybody can do it. Metrin plans to expand her mushroom business so that she can tap into a potentially lucrative market. With a high demand for mushrooms, she wants to take more time to improve the quality of her crop and do her bit to promote mushrooms in the country.